Alrighty, Mullen fam. I'm going to take you through a trip about Mullen. Now, I haven't been making videos, but you know I've been watching. Of course I've been watching. So, here's what you need to understand. So, when they did Mullen Dilution in July from 5 billion to 1.75 billion, or sorry, 500 million to 1.75 billion for the common stock. Basically, they announced the vote June 1st. That's when they basically held off the, the voting. Like if you did buy your shares on June 1st or later, you didn't get a vote. Some people, even before that, that have joined my lawsuit. But lawsuit doesn't matter right now. We'll talk about that some other time. So when there was 500 million shares, they announced it. And at that time, basically what they're implying, now I think they cheated the vote, but what they're implying is that retail owned 248 million shares. And they owned 252 million shares worth the votes. And they won the vote by less than 1%. That's what they're claiming. That's what the SEC filing says. So... They announced this vote at a time when they said that they had the legal authority to claim the votes of this many votes by using all of their remaining dilution shares. And if we look at today for the 5 billion dilution vote, when they announced it, I believe there was 1.3 billion outstanding. I know that they said that there's 1.6 billion outstanding now, but if we assume the 1.3 billion outstanding is when they did it and the extra 300 million shares that just came in from the last SEC filing are all votes they get to have, I don't think that gives them more than 600 million votes and we got a billion. And that's 400 million shares to compensate for and I don't think they can do it. So I don't think they get the dilution vote because the dilution vote is very strict and they can't use the preferred shares to vote for dilution they can only use the common stock so when they tell you that david mickery has 1.3 billion votes i think and i'm pretty freaking sure that that only applies to the reverse split and what i think what's going to happen with mullen right now is that it's going to fall to 12 cents it's going to reverse split to 4 or $5. It's going to fall to 2 or $3. And then it's going to squeeze because they're not going to have the 5 billion shares to dilute. And I think they're going to lose the dilution vote. I think they're going to win the reverse split vote. And I think it's going to squeeze to 35 to 50 If we're, I mean, with what I got going on and behind the scenes and how this all plays out, it could end up being hundreds. But... 35 to 50 from a 2 to 3 low all in the matter of 1 to 2 weeks and then from there it'll do like an AMC decline where it went from it hit a high of 72 fell to 40 and then would fall to 30 run to 50 fall to 30 and then eventually hit 20 and then 10 like that's what I see with Mullen happening and so Here's, I mean, you already own the dilution vote. So if you wanted to sell and buy back in at 12, wait for the reverse split, they'll probably like give the reverse split a little bounce in the beginning. So people buy it acting like it's a good thing and then they'll crash it back down and then they'll squeeze. But whether you want to buy more now, like there, if the money doesn't really matter, like if you're just here for the movement and you want to squeeze and you want retail to retain their power to be able to squeeze the stock, like it's never wrong to buy Mullen. But if you want to sell now, buy back at 12, sell at five or six when it reverse splits and then buy back, like, I mean, here, here's what you can do. So one of the beautiful things about Mullen and I think like, I'm pretty confident about this. We'll have to see what happens when it actually, like, if I'm right about everything, if I'm right about the reverse split. 
But if we come back and we look at the option chain, like I don't think a squeeze, if they don't get the 5 billion shares, a squeeze has happened before July 23. So if I'm buying any option, it's gonna be July 23 option. Now, basically, if we look at this, it's 10 cents for a 50 cent option, which is basically about 100%, 150% out of the money. This never gets cheaper than 5 cents a share. So 10 cents a share is like as cheap as it can possibly be. So when this reverse splits to $5 and then the price falls to $2, like these strikes at two, three, four, five dollars $5 are gonna be worth 10 cents in my opinion. Like that's just what I'm seeing right now. Maybe a little bit more, but maybe you can buy the $5 at 10 cents. So if it's gonna run to, let's just say $35, because like, well, think about this for a second. If the 5 billion dilution vote share gets denied, it's guaranteed to squeeze. Cause that means retail owns enough shares that they can no longer dilute until retail buys so many shares that it has to squeeze because there's no more shares to dilute. That is a fact. That is why AMC squoes and GME squoes before that because they didn't dilute. Now, if it goes to 35 and you bought $5 contracts for 10 cents a contract, that is $30 intrinsic value. So instead of 10 cents, each contract is now worth $30. So if we take $30 and we divide that by 0.1, you have 300 x your money in the smallest squeeze possible if the 5 billion share dilution does not pass, which is gonna be sometime the end of December is gonna be the vote when they announce it. And so I think it's December 23rd, but who knows, last time they waited a, a couple days to actually give us the, the real vote numbers. But what I'm getting at is if you buy in at 12, when it comes up to the vote, we're obviously gonna crash into the vote. But if you buy in at 12, it reverse splits to five, sell half and buy options. You'll probably be able to 150 extra money. Let the other half fall to two, three dollars and then sell those and buy options for all the new stock buyers that know it's gonna squeeze because retail finally voted no on dilution. And that means they own the float. No other sure sign other than that is the dilution vote goes south. Um, and this is basically, and then if it falls to two or three dollars from the reverse split, you sell the rest of what you got, you throw it all in the options, and you're gonna 300x this money. And so ultimately, long term, you're you're guaranteed to. This is a strategy where you're gonna <coughs> 100x your money. So if you got ten thousand dollars right now, you're waiting for Mullen to drop to twelve cents, and then you're buying that ten thousand dollars when it reverse splits it goes up a little bit you're gonna sell six thousand dollars of your twelve thousand dollars and you are going to buy options probably five dollar contracts maybe even eight ten dollar contracts for ten cents a contract and then you are going to wait for it to fall to two or three dollars with the other half you could even sell half of that half already and just wait if you wanted to but then let it fall and once it falls, you cash those out, throw it in options, and you are going to make a lot of money. That's the long game plan. It's a long play. Um, nothing, nothing crazy is going to happen short term. That's a fact. Now, I have, I'm probably a week away from having my algo finished, and. I just found the perfect programmer who's been building trading bots for other people. And because obviously I know what I'm talking about and nobody does better than I do, I told him what I wanted and it made perfect sense to him and he's just been building it. And it already looks flawless. And the only thing to add is the futures hedge and it's gonna be perfect. So a little bit longer. And if when we add the fact that like it depends how much money I'm able to gather. So if I only gather $125,000, I'm 
if I'm doubling money every week like I think I'm gonna going to, then one hundred twenty five thousand dollars is only gonna turn into I don't know by end of January, which is when the mullen squeeze would probably happen. That would only turn into uh, what is eight weeks of doubling. It's two two fifty five hundred one million two million four million. Eight million. So eight to sixteen million dollars is what I would make before the squeeze, and I would probably get. I'm probably going to get about ten percent of whatever is made, and so I don't know that eight hundred thousand dollars is going to be enough for me to affect the squeeze in the way that I'd like to. And definitely not all of that $800,000 can go into uh, making that happen because bills are tight here right now. I haven't been this broke in a long time, but it's okay. I'm doing a, I quit my dishwashing job and I'm doing a tree lot seasonal job right now because I know my shit's done in a week and that dishwashing job was bullshit. Oh, exciting times, people. The next three months are going to be a fucking show.